okay today we are going to start with the introduction of the photoshop user interface over here we have three main panels the side bar the right side bar and the topmost the top panel and this area is known as the workspace this top bar which is known as the top menu bar or topmost panel consists of some menus like file edit image layer type select filter 3d view windows and help today we are going to start with the file menu in this menu you can see you have an open option new option open option browse in bridge browse in mini bridge open as open as part object and these all options will be activated once we start working on the assignments and you will get to know how all these options are going to be used second option we have is to undo a, a step to step forward or to step backward cut a image copy an image paste an image and all this then we have image option which consists of all the options which is related to the editing of an image size layer we can create layer from this option also create new layer or we have one another option as well we'll let you know in a meanwhile then we have type which consists of character panel and paragraph panel select we can use this option to select any images any image or Im images which we are working on filters filters consist of all the effects which are to be used in photoshop to edit any image to give any kind of effect to an image 3d we can create 3d graphics with this panel view view is used to uh, see all the rulers extra um, slices screen modes and all i'll let you know all this once we start with the assignments windows windows are used to open all the panel like we have to uh, open action panel i click over here and see action panel is here history panel is here windows info we can start with the info panel as well then likewise we can open any of this panel from here help help is just an information about the photoshop software apart from this we have a right side panel which consists of all the information of the color stylings adjustments and over here we have layers channels and parts also the adjustments and styles these are all the effects which we can use for the styling of the image over here we have a left side panel which is known as a toolbar we can use all this tool to create the image to edit the image or to work in our project now let's start with a small project let's start let's create a new file and let it be pixels 500 pixels width and 500 pixels height name it as a test file let the resolution be 72 pixel per inch and color mode to RGB let the background be uh, white or transparent you can take 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 it as a transparent background click ok see we over here we have a transparent big background on which we can work and see a layer has been created which is named as layer one rename it by double clicking on it and name it as b a c k background so you can note that this is the first 
background layer which you have created to create more uh, of the layers we can go right here see when we hover on to this it may it says it's create a new layer we can click over here and create anything on this layer like we have to create a shape go to the shape layer uh, shape tool and you can choose any of the uh, uh, shape which you want go to the uh, i'll take uh, um, let's make a polygon tool and click the mouse button and drag it onto the layer you can move the object by selecting it see when i uh, when i'm i'm trying to select this object it's not making any selection around just because the show transformation controls are not been checked check the show transformation controls and you'll see all these marks you can pick the object and move anywhere in the document which you have created okay but see you have created two layers one is known as background and the other one is a polygon layer right click onto it and make it as rasterized layer okay and to make more layer you can create one more above it uh let's take it as rectangle you have to uh, make rectangle if you have to make rectangle change the color double click uh, single click on to the uh, see this one is a foreground color and the other one is known as the background color click on to the foreground color double click and choose any color you want you can uh, use the slider to choose the color and move the cursor around the colors to uh get the perfect shade which you want select okay go to the bucket tool and uh right click rasterize layer bucket tool has been selected color is there just click on to the layer which you want to be want that color to be used for okay um so now what you can do you can even rename the layers from here uh, just go and right click um double click onto it rename it as a uh, polygon poly layer maybe and this one as rectangle layer double click rect rect layer maybe okay what you can what uh, you can see over here is pick the move tool and just click on to the i icon which is made over here see the polygon tool has been disappeared but it is not been deleted from your project you can hide any object from turning on and off this i icon in the layer likewise the above layer can also be done and the background layer you need a background always that's why it's not disappearing what we can also do what we can do is we can even make a new layer and we can color it color the new layer as i can use like a regular you have a background colored background as well you have an object you have another object you can hide all of them you can see all of them you can move the object above any uh, any of the layer which you want more you can pick this one you can play around with these layer as per your need of the assignments okay and now let's go on to the opacity opacity is like you have to make an object look a bit transparent to uh, do that go to the object which you want to uh, want the opacity to be uh, want want uh, the opacity to be reduced you can reduce the opacity like make it 
20 c the opacity has been reduced 20 percent and it has been made opaque we can increase the opacity make it 50 percent it's 50 percent and let's see what let's see it's an opaque object now you can see the transparency over here okay make it 70 you'll see the difference make it 100 again and it's perfectly an object opaque uh, a solid object now no opacity reduce an opacity to 10 percent more transparent so this is the opacity option okay now all these tools and all the menu bar and all the function of other uh, tools will be introduced to you simultaneously once we start working on the assignments all the assignments will consist of various other tools which are to be used and you will get to know the functions of all the tools and all the filters which are being mentioned over here and now this is the introduction uh, of the ui now start let's start with our assignment work in our next next video till then see you take care Thank you.